Hello friends, family. Wanted to wish everyone happy holidays on this December 17th, 2017. And for those that are celebrating Christmas this year, whether it's those of us in the West that are typically celebrating on the 24th and the 25th of December, or whether it's our Orthodox friends overseas in various places, uh, Merry Christmas. wonderful flight. I had three different flights coming over from Tbilisi, Georgia, and I just noticed some of the waves rolling in on the shore. It's three flights, and the most impressive thing uh, was arriving early to MCI with Delta on a Delta flight coming from Minnesota. So it was really pleasant, nice surprise, showing up 30 minutes early. I was able to tell Terry Cook, um, who very graciously and took time out of his schedule to come and pick me up there at MCI, Kansas City International Airport. And he was there, even though we were 30 minutes early, he managed to come up early too and uh, just perfect flight and been able to spend a little time with my family and it's been since July I had flown over and right in the middle of a situation where there was almost war there in Georgia a couple of Georgians had told me as soon as I landed down I, I didn't know him I never met him before but a few girls and a couple of guys there. Um, it was a sad situation. They were worried, very worried that war could break out at any time. One of the girls had lived in the village right on the occupied area of Georgia, occupied by uh, Russian or Russian-backed forces. And 20% of Georgia remains under occupation forces and when the Russian military was engaged in the creeping occupation at one point in particular uh, which I actually heard they still are as of even just during the noble partner 2017 exercises they had according to the Ministry of Foreign, of Foreign Affairs there in Georgia, they had reported on their page that the Russian occupation took two more villages during the Noble Party 2017 exercises, which as a journalist, I had the privilege of filming and photographing. And not only that, but also our U.S. Vice President Mike Pence and his wife Karen, as well as a, a really nice, a great speech by the Georgian President. And that was on August 1st. 2017, and, and the beautiful thing about that particular timing, that date at Vaziani Air Base is where we came in with a girl, Katie, K-E-T-I. She's a reporter for netgazetti.ge. Netgazetti. It's Katie. She had this beautiful hat, fashionable hat I'll never forget. Beautiful woman and very intelligent Georgian woman. And she happened to come on to the area next to the airport there that was talking to some security people and, and, and trying to find Vaziani Air Base. I knew it was closed. So Katie was so kind and gracious, she led me. We went together from that point because she arrived too trying to find uh, this Noble Partner 2017 exercises event. And when we got in there, we were escorted by U.S. Secret Services onto the base and through the base. And I was so overwhelmed at first for just, just a few moments because I, I we got to the part where there was a huge hangar kind of building and 
Hundreds of U.S. soldiers, hundreds of our troops were there. And I look over to my left, and like I said, it's overwhelming for me. I didn't expect it. I thought we were just going to walk through an empty building. And I saw a red snap-on toolbox. You know, the type with the, the drawers that you pull out and you get the tools. I, uh, my dad and grandfather, they, we, I grew up in their uh, garage a lot. We'd play there as children and they'd be working. And later in life, he had, had one in his garage outside of work, just, just for his own personal use at home and on the farm. And I immediately, I felt calm. It's a snap-on toolbox from America. So I kind of took a deep breath, kept walking through with Katie from Net Gazetti. And uh, we got over to the media tent. It was a pretty hot day. And Katie was over and uh, with, a, with a lot of the Georgian media. Some of them were with the Ministry of Defense, others I had known from other events or and, uh, and then I sat at the table with the U.S. Army, and I remember Joyner, and uh, one girl I, I remember, I think, was from uh, maybe Virginia or California. I don't remember exactly what state, but we, we talked there for a few hours waiting for uh, the vice president to arrive, and... That's where I actually put the text, the speech from the Georgian president and uh, filmed and photographed U.S. Vice President Mike Pence. Now, August 1st is the birth date of my grandfather, Ralph Vanderpool, who served as a colonel in the U.S. Army. He was also a gunner on a tank under General Patton. He fought through one of the deadliest wars in history. It also laid lines behind, laid wire behind enemy lines. And that's for the artillery firing. He went beyond enemy lines in Luxembourg and laid the wire. So he fought through one of the deadliest battles in history. And they went on further into Germany and liberated Camp Buchenwald. And you can still see films on that. Most of you won't want to see those films. But you can see U.S. Army footage of the liberation of Buchenwald on YouTube now. But the, the sad thing is, as I was just saying before getting to these other details, that was uh, when I got there in, in about mid-July or so, they had talked about the Georgians, that they were afraid war could break out at any moment. One, one Georgian in particular had told me he had work, uh, worked against um, terrorist groups such as Bokar or Bokram. He had also contacts with the U.S. Um, I can't remember if she, he either said U.S. congressman or U.S. Uh, I think U.S. congressman. And he offered me U.S. intelligence contact. Ask, asked me if I would want that or need that and I said no. But he explained there was something like sixteen to 25,000 Troops in occupied area of South Ossetia, Russian troops, and other other troops there, and they they had uh, Russian occupation forces, and they had the heavy roads um, occupied and backed, and uh, heavy equipment, military equipment there. And, and my friends, my Georgian friends, were relieved some short time after, within the next few weeks, that the American military arrived and took their armored vehicles up through the middle of Georgia from the port at, um, I don't know if it was Poti or Batumi, but they took, took them up back up to, uh, apparently come up to Tbilisi. And my friends were very relieved. They were very happy that the U.S. military had arrived to Georgia and subsequently announced that they were going to do the Noble Partner 2017 exercise. So I produced a some films, having had the privilege of gaining press access to the, uh, several events, um, those are now on YouTube. I have a playlist of those films under Noble Partner 2017 title on YouTube. Also, I had the privilege of filming the Deputy Chief of Mission at the U.S. Embassy, Elizabeth Rood, 
who within uh, 45 seconds to 60 seconds explained precisely and exactly the very important and, and appreciated contribution of the Georgia military as the largest per capita non-NATO contributor to um, the ISAF mission as well as fighting alongside uh, our U.S. soldiers often shoulder to shoulder. So um, I had the privilege of filming that and also uh, spending a little time with the Georgian media. <clears throat> I'm Eddie in particular, a, a journalist. Their crew, I rode out with them one day and also our own U.S. military uh, folks uh, about half hour or so driving out through that base. It was so hot. Also um, with Georgian MOD, that was very cool. We had, we had some good times with George and, and uh, another amazing photographer Andre there that uh, it's just it was a very cool event so I was very happy to be able to as a journalist and documentary filmmaker and photographer I was very happy with the US Press Association membership that I have to go on out there and to 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 film and photograph and record part of that that important history for the American Georgian friendship and strategic partnership so um, and it made me feel good because my friends felt good my Georgian friends felt good about that and if they felt good about that then that's what matters that's what counts and then also appreciate their military contribution as well so as I'm out here listening to these albeit small waves but nonetheless waves roll in crashing into the rocks down there and, and feeling the wind and the warm unusually warm sun of a Missouri winter I remain incredibly grateful to friends and family and those here on Facebook or on YouTube that are seeing this video um, thanks for all those that answered about the Facebook logarithms let me know that you're still there that you're still watching that you're still reading that you're still checking in from time to time and that you had the courage to say hey hi Mike or um, hey Ruski or whatever whatever the some of the more uh, comedic comments were my friend's father uh, and others, I really appreciate the feedback because uh, things do change on the internet and not everyone is uh, able to safely respond or speak. Unfortunately, that's the way a lot of Georgians feel. And so to see the response from friends about that uh, and to give some feedback, I really appreciate that. Uh, I've worked with the American Georgian Defense Related Project for over four years. No salary, no pay, no compensation, just on a, as a volunteer on a voluntary basis um, in the capacity of a journalist and documentary filmmaker and and I also do that independently I, I do that without anybody saying hey you know, I've done some fantastic uh, fashion show films from Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in particular but uh, uh, I enjoy that a lot uh, I really have enjoyed some of the films I still watch them from time to time there's some fantastic models and fashions and great music and just really good shows that they've had there. And it's something that uh, the first time I went to a fashion show I actually saw was in Ukraine. I went to a nightclub there and it's the first time I had seen Runaway and the models come out and, and do this sort of thing. So it looks like the sun has shifted a little bit by the video showing differently here. So I probably don't have the same light. But in any case, um, I just got over here some days ago. Um, the flight was great. I plan to go back over sometime um, within the next uh, few weeks but in general um, we have a lot to be thankful for and this is basically a video where I want to express that gratitude and thanks the timing on Mike Pence's visit and being on August 1st being on my grandfather's birthday is just amazing for me um, it's an amazing thing because it was my grandfather's birthday so um, it's quite um, quite significant for me in more ways than one. Not not only that, that they, uh, to be able to film the vice president speak, and and it's so far away. It's on the other side of the, of the world from where I'm at right now. So uh, and it was unexpected. I, I didn't come to Tbilisi to film Mobile Partner 2017. I had saw an article come up on Facebook uh, in Georgian. Uh, maybe it was English or maybe I translated. I don't know, but it was in Georgian originally and that's how I applied for it and then I found that it was um, also uh, 
available through U.S. Army Europe in terms of press accreditation and application. So I applied to both and uh, had a fantastic opportunity there to capture an important part of history, in my opinion. And as a, as a, as a filmmaker, that was a great experience and uh, met a lot of great people that, that week, uh, those couple of weeks, actually. So the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week, Belize was also very cool this year. I um, actually saw a photographer there from uh, Noble Partner 2017, Tamaras. It was, in fact, I saw some photos today. He had repo I think he had reposted them with a guy from over in uh, East Coast checking out STC Delta, some of the weaponry there. And um, looks like a bulletproof vest as well. I have film with STC Delta or NATO event back in 2014, February. That was fantastic too. So. But in any case, we'll be looking to see what we can film here in Missouri. I want to end the video for now. And it's basically to show appreciation and share a little bit of my experience this summer. It was kind of a unique and unusual situation. In any case, I love this nature here. But I'm going to make my way back up to the real world again. So much for lovely time in nature. Beautiful, but time is going. Enjoy. Happy holidays, everyone. Merry Christmas. Michael Vanderpool.